Hi everyone. Uh, today uh, we will be discussing about an introduction to e-commerce, and uh, we'll just go with the uh, curriculum. So based on the curriculum, um, so we'll be discussing about uh, what are the topics which comes under the unit one, and uh, we'll be I'll be explaining you the topics that we need. So about an introduction to e-commerce and the technology infrastructure uh, as per our curriculum, first we'll be discussing about the basics of e-commerce. So basics of e-commerce in the sense of what e-commerce does and what is the difference between uh, uh, traditional commerce and uh, e-commerce and then uh, what are the types of e-commerce, uh, what types of types or various types of e-commerce and followed by uh, working with web and uh, we will also discuss about an html markup for the structure and also we'll create a simple web page for uh, uh, an e-commerce site so here we'll be discussing about a uh, simple uh, basic html tags to develop a simple static web page by using a text and adding some links and adding some images and table markups forms and also we'll be discussing something about what do you mean by HTML5 and the difference between HTML and HTML5? So these are all topics that we'll be discussing in the first chapter. So let's go into the introduction part of e-commerce. So first we have to know the definition for a commerce, and then we can proceed for a traditional or electronic commerce. So first, what do you mean by commerce? So commerce is nothing here, buying or exchanging, exchanging or buying of and selling the goods to the consumers, right? So that is something we call it as a commerce. So for example, uh, if you if you people are going to a shop and getting some product by paying the money, or uh, you are giving some uh, uh, raw materials to the manufacturers or something, you are trying to buy or sell the product. So might be a consumers can buy the product, consume the product. So, which means the users will buy the product and later they will sell the product. So, that is something we call test commerce. So, in terms of electronic, if we perform uh, buying and selling of goods, so which means through by electronic media, we will be performing a buying and selling of goods. So, we call it as an e commerce. I hope you understood, right? So, which means like uh, Amazon example. Amazon.in or Flipkart. So whatever nowadays the people started to use more uh, through online, right? So even uh, the things that you are performing with are not only for buying and uh, selling the goods. So even if you perform some online transaction, so which means like uh, when you type a www.amazon.in. So it will uh, go for the home pages, right? So you will be selecting some products and you'll be adding to the cart and you'll click on uh, the buy the product, right? So when you click on that buy the product, it will be asking for your uh, bank accounts details, right? So either it will be asking you for whether you're going for a new pay payment or you're going for some credit card or the debit card or you're going for cash on delivery, right? COD. So you will be getting uh, various modes of payments uh, when you speak about uh, the online uh, transactions. So by the time you have to uh, go, you have to choose any one of this payment and you have to go for uh, the payment gateway. So that there will be going some sort of transaction will be happen between your, uh, when you enter your card details, so you it will be sent to their third party server bank and that bank will send the information to your bank and your banks will authorize the amount and once the amount has been authorized from your account so you'll be getting the successful payment as a message screen and the product will be added onto your uh, purchase right so this is what exactly the uh, amazon or any e-commerce sites works right so when you speak about an electronic commerce, it's not only deals with the buying and selling of goods, it's also deals with some uh, online credit card or debit card transactions 
and when you speak about online credit card or debit card transactions so there may be a chance of uh, uh, hacking your information from by some intruders right so we need to know something about the securities and the types of attacks uh, types of uh, threats which may happen at the time of transaction so everything all together is considered e-commerce so uh, in upcoming unit, we'll be discussing more about how to develop an e-commerce sites and uh, what do you mean by SDLC process and uh, we'll be discussing about uh, uh, very security threats while you're performing an uh, e-commerce so, which means e-commerce in the sense you will buy or sell a product through electronically which means with using an internet you'll be buying and selling a product right so when we speak about an internet so obviously there might be someone some third unauthorized person might be watching uh, may watch may try to hack your information and may try to uh, modify your data right so we have to know some security aspects also so in upcoming chapter we'll be discussing about the security threats and moreover we'll be discussing about how exactly the payment gateway is working on so how uh, exactly when you're processing the credit card and debit card processing will be uh, done from your bank the transaction between your bank and the retail bank and how exactly the transaction was happening so we'll be discussing more about that and followed by uh, not only uh, buying and selling a product so when you want to sell the product so you need to promote some advertisement for your product right so once you assume that you are a retailer and you want to sell some product so if you want to sell your product you have to uh, get a virtual space from the amazon or flipkart and uh, you will be displaying your product image with all the 360 degree and you will try to promote your product by uh, giving certain advertisement uh, if the advertisement might be uh, done through a facebook or twitter or it might be through a email marketing uh, so you have a lot of uh, uh, electronic media marketing for your product right so all the stuff will be discussing in uh, the fourth chapter and uh, also we'll be discussing uh, tools that helps to develop an e-commerce and we'll be discussing more on the case studies in the fifth chapter so again coming to the introduction so the exchanging or buying or selling the selling of commodities right so as simple the definitions each and everyone can define e-commerce on their own so i have displayed a few definitions uh, which uh, whatever i just received from the internet to google so i can define the e-commerce by as by as buying and selling of goods and a service via electronic means such as internet so this is what uh, where i can give us a definition even if you want to give some certain type of definitions for an e-commerce it's brilliant good but try to understand what exactly the commerce does and what you mean by electronic and what is internet right so again uh, what are the different definitions for an e-commerce from the different perspectives so here we are just categorizing into four different perspectives one is communication perspective another one is business perspective and third one is the service perspective and fourth one is online perspective so in what way they are defining the e-commerce with respect to the communication perspective so e-commerce is the delivery of information or a product or a service or a payment over a telephone line or the computer network or any other electronic means so we can define uh, with respect to the communication perspective as like this and uh, with respect to the business process perspective we can define an e-commerce as it's an application of a technology towards the automation of business transaction and the workflow when we define e-commerce with respect to the service perspective e-commerce is a tool that uh, address the desire of firms uh, consumers and the management to cut a service cost while improving the quality of goods and increasing the speed of service delivery so this is uh, uh, what the uh, definition for uh, the, uh, with respect to the service perspective when you are going to define an e-commerce with that uh, service perspective and when we are going to define e-commerce with respect to the online perspective we can define it as e-commerce provides the capability of buying and selling a product and information on the internet and other online services so coming to the point of what do you mean by uh, the scope of e-commerce is uh, as i just told you at the very beginning the scope which comes as marketing sales and sales promotions so it might be a pre-sale or subcontract or supply or finance and insurance the commercial transaction ordering delivering and payment and a product service and maintenance so those are all the scopes which comes under 
the scope of e-commerce. And when we speak about the benefit of e-commerce, access a new market and extending the service offering to the customer and broaden. So e-commerce is not, uh, we are not going to sell a product only for the limited geographical area, which means if I have a shop, uh, I can sell the product only to that uh, physical shop. I'm just speaking about, uh, so before getting into this point, I just want to make one statement clear. So there is a point something called traditional. traditional commerce and you have to know about electronic commerce right so so far we discuss something about electronic commerce so here yeah, we first we knew we know about the commerce is something like buying or selling the product right so buying and selling of the product so but when we speak about electronic we are going to do a buying and selling of product in an electronic media through an internet so that's something we, we call the definition of e-commerce then what do you mean by traditional commerce traditional commerce in the sense before e-commerce exists to the technology how we buy a sell the product what we do we will uh, if we want to buy a, a shirt or pant or if you want to buy some uh stationaries or groceries items so what we do so we have to plan we have to uh, take some vehicle, we have to travel there and we have to find some good shops and we have to go for negotiations and we have to select the best product and we have to buy the product and we have to pay the cash at the time of uh, getting the product, right? So physically the person have to spend a lot of time and energy and money uh, not only for getting the product, and, uh, they have to spend the more money for the other expenses like the transportation and food and so on right so that is something uh, the cost factor will be more so what we do initially is if there is some festival like the uh, our festival like the Diwali or Pongal so what we do is we plan one day uh, along with our family members to travel around 30 to 40 kilometers to reach the city and what we do we, we will go to the shop and uh, we will find some dresses for and uh, some provisionary items for that festival and we'll buy that product and we'll go for a hotel for lunch and then we have to come back after catching the bus we have to come back to our home so we have to spend the entire one day for buying uh, a product shirts and pants or some materials right where textile materials so we have to spend around one day transportation cost and then food cost everything which comes into the consideration when we go for a traditional commerce but the major advantage over the traditional commerce compared with e-commerce is when you are going to choose a product you can see the product you can feel the product and you can buy the product but whereas if you go for an e-commerce for buying a product so you can see only the images and the reviews given by the existing customer and until or unless it reaches near hand you don't have to how the product looks like so that is what the major disadvantage of e-commerce and whereas in traditional commerce so that's an advantage so even if i just go to that some textile shop I can wear the pant or shirt and I can check the fitness of that particular textile and I can buy the product. But I can't do that through e-commerce. I can see the size as a text. I can see the shirt color as an image. And only at the time of receiving uh, on my door, then only I can know how the product looks like. So that is what that is what the major disadvantage of e-commerce compared with traditional commerce. But apart from that, all the other parameters e-commerce gives the major benefits and as i just told you like the geographical parameter so these shops need some physical locations to sell the product but e-commerce is something uh, you can take an example like amazon is a, it's just an online uh, shopping cart where not only the people from Chennai they are going to place that amazon so people from the globe the people from the entire world uh, using Amazon voting on top for multiple years, right? So again, the shops expanded throughout the globe and it's going to create some virtual space. And again, when you speak about this, so they are going to use something uh, as a technology called internet as a technology and they're going to sell their product and they're going to find, they're going to promote their product through a various media and they're going to do the business in an effective way compared with the traditional marketing. So traditional is something a limited geographical area, but uh, e-commerce something we can able to cover across the globe, right?
So, and then another benefit is, as I just told you, reduce the cost of marketing and the promotions. Of course, when we go for uh, uh, electronic sites, so we don't want to go for much more marketing or promotions compared with the traditional commerce, right? So, for the traditional commerce, we have to go for flyers, we have to promote our shops, we have to promote uh, where the shop is located, and we have to say we have to give a lot of advertisement for selling your uh, product, right? So that can be reduced by using. So if we are going to sell your product in Amazon, so you don't want to give a promotion for Amazon, right? Because everyone knows that uh, Amazon is a best seller for uh, any commerce sites, right? So even if I want to plan to buy some mobile phones, either I can go for Amazon or Flipkart. No other way I can go, I won't go for some other e-commerce sites. So I don't want to uh, uh, sell my product in Amazon. I don't want to give some promotions for my product. So because the people normally they use Amazon for selecting their uh, choosing the product, right? And uh, the strength of the relationship with the customers and the suppliers and a streamlined business process and administrative functions. So those are all some benefits which comes under e-commerce. And uh, this is what the topic I just uh, said you earlier, how e-commerce differs from the traditional commerce. As I just told you, a traditional commerce uh, have uh, certain uh, disadvantage so in order to work on the disadvantage we go for e-commerce and uh, but there is one major advantage which comes with the traditional commerce it's something you can feel you can look and you can feel the product how it looks like so for example if you are planning to buy a foods so when we go for a traditional commerce you go to the shop food shop directly you can take the fruit and you can smell the fruit you can see the fruit and you can see the texture of the fruit, everything can be seen and you can buy the product, right? But if you go for e-commerce to buy the same fruits, what you have to do, you have to see only the images which is already posted, right? Which was developed by some uh, tech, techie persons or who have designed, who have created the texture for making that uh, image to be blue, right? So that's, we can't get exactly how the product looks like, right? So until the latest year, so this is what the major, uh, uh, advantage, uh, major difference between the traditional and the electronic commerce. So I think uh, before getting into this next topic, uh, we can have a small break and I can stop with this. And uh, next video, I'll uh, explain about uh, what is internet and what is web. And uh, followed by, we'll be discussing about uh, HTML and uh, HTML5. Thank you.